What's up Multiverse, Dr. Dave here. Welcome to the Geek Lounge. I hope you've all had a great weekend and are looking forward to the week ahead, guys. Christmas Eve in just one week's time. I'm really looking forward to the holidays. I hope those of you who do have to work that week before Christmas as well as the week after Christmas don't have to work too hard or too much. My commiserations if you do. Hopefully we can cheer you up with some content today. And today's content, today's video, is part two of me catching up with my Funga Book Parcels. Yesterday was part one, which was all anime related. Today, we have a mishmash of a bunch of things. And we're going to get right into it, guys. First up here, we have Ghost Rider from the Midnight Suns video game. And as you guys will see, it is the exclusive con sticker. And check this bad boy out, guys. This pop is really, really cool. If it glowed, it would be absolutely sick. Sadly, it doesn't. I don't know how many of you guys played Midnight Suns. It came out, and I feel there was, like, a little bit of chatter about it, and then it disappeared very quickly. I know it went on sale very quickly, but I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed the game. Uh, the whole kind of, like, card mechanics. It was like XCOM, but then you had the cards thrown into it, and I thought it was a pretty cool game. I finished it, and I had, like... I think I had one, like, the very last mission of the DLC to finish as well, and I never did it. Like, I think some of my achievements, because I play on Xbox uh, for, like, the DLC, actually got stuck, and I was like, ah, oh, I don't really want to play it then. And I think loads of people had this issue, and I was thinking I might go back and do, because I did it with the male character of Hunter, and I figured, you know what, I may go back and play it again with the female character and get some of the other achievements that you can't get through one playthrough, and, like, try and 100% the game. Um, and I'm sure I'll get round to it eventually. I'm just trying to clear other backlog at the moment. But yeah, like I said, I really enjoyed the game. Uh, this is Ghost Rider here. These are the outfits um, from right at the end of the game when you essentially become like the Midnight Suns, right? Very, very cool outfits. The only other one they've released so far is Iron Man, and it did actually have that 2K sticker. I think they released with the game, but I think it was only in the US. I don't believe they released here in the UK. If they did, you know, someone drop a comment, let me know. I, I certainly don't recall them ever releasing over here and I think it was Wasatch Pop I believe it was him I know Top Pops picked one up ages ago but I believe Wasatch Pop picked one up not too long ago and got it for free and I think he said GameStop were like giving them out because they could no longer sell them or something along those lines and I was like man I wish the, why does that stuff not happen to us here in the UK um, and then they are quite cheap on eBay but once you add shipping it's still going to cost me like 20 30 pounds to get one of the commons over and I think like 50 60 to get one of the chases which I suppose is not too bad but at the same time it's like do I really want to spend that money on a pop like this I don't know even though they look cool um yeah I would love to see more Midnight Suns ones especially these like the golden black outfits do look really cool I doubt we'll get any of the main character because you could kind of customize their looks and whatnot uh but one I would definitely love to see is the Fallen Venom that would look absolutely sick as a six inch pop and I don't think I said it, but I got that pop from popfigures.com with some money off, so it was slightly discounted. I can't actually remember how much I paid for it. I think it was under £40, though, which I thought was pretty cool. We do actually have an affiliate link with Pop Figures, which you can find in the description below. If you make a purchase using that affiliate link, you will get £10 off your next order, though I think you do have to spend a minimum of £100. We do, because we get that same £10, and I know we have to spend £100. I can only assume it is the same for you guys. And everything else I've got to show off in today's video came from Pop Culture. In fact, this was all from one single order that I made during their 30% off all in stock Funko item sale, which was a couple of weeks ago. And now when you do buy stuff, especially like bundled stuff, so I've got an Ahsoka bundle and an Avatar The Last Airbender bundle, which we're going to get into very, very shortly. And now when you buy the bundles off Pop Culture, they're already like one to two pounds per pop cheaper, at least for us here in the UK. I don't know what the conversion rates are for the likes of dollars, Canadian dollars, euros, etc, etc. But for me, they're always like one to two pounds less per pop. And then when you you have a 30% discount on top you actually get them for really really cheap so I think I got the Ahsoka ones at least when I worked it out with shipping they, they worked out to like between five and six pounds per pop and these are fairly new releases even though they're commons which I think is really really cool I honestly think pop culture are great there is one caveat to that and we will get to that in just a second let me show you off then the boxes of all the pops we did pick up so first up then we have Ahsoka from her namesake show we've got Marok, Professor Hu Yang, General Hera Syndulla and last but certainly not least we have everyone's favorite astromech droid Chopper wait is he everyone's favorite or is R2D2 still the favorite I have to say Chopper is my man when it comes to astromech droids. Now, the caveat I was talking about with pop culture guys 
Yeah, the shipping is not great. And as you can see, we've got some pretty hefty damage on there as well as that corner as well. Now, Chopper was the only one to suffer this sort of damage. Everything else was not too bad. Maybe Maroc had like a little bit of denting, but it wasn't too bad. And now I've placed many orders with Pop Culture and generally when it's a bigger order, they do pack fairly well. Well, I say fairly well, fairly tightly. When it's like one or two things that come, the packing is a little bit disappointing. Certainly in terms of like international standards, right? I get it, they're coming from very, very far away in Australia, but they could do a better job with their international packing. But as you guys saw, Chopper didn't really do so well in this parcel. And to be perfectly honest, although it was tightly packed, it was way too tightly packed this time. Chopper was sadly right at the bottom, the poor guy getting absolutely squashed by the rest of the pops. And I do feel pop culture should do better with their international shipping. And one of the things I think they can do better and to be honest every Funko provider even Funko themselves should do this is ship every single pop in a pop protector I mean if you buy them in bulk they are cheap as chips as low as 5 to 10p per protector if you buy them in the thousands I just feel Funko and all their providers should put every single pop they sell in a pop protector it would just be so much better for the customer and now in my opinion if Pop Gold did this they would easily be within the top three Funko providers in the world of course I can't buy too much from the US not a lot of vendors do ship to the UK but yeah, with pop culture's pricing, especially when they have sales and whatnot, if they just added protectors to every single pop, they would be amazing. But alas, I don't think you guys came here for a pop culture review. Let's now check out these pops, starting with Ahsoka here, hooded with the poncho, with the two lightsabers. I don't actually know how much this differs from the Amazon exclusive version uh, that was released under the Mandalorian wave. I actually, it's like buried for me, so I haven't seen it for a while. Uh, I do actually have the other one, like the common version where she doesn't have the hood signed by Rosario. Zaria Dawson actually met her earlier this year at Star Wars Celebration. Such a cool chick, man. Very funny, very charismatic, and got to spend a good 45 to 60 seconds chatting with her. But yeah, this pop, I mean, what more can you say? It's fairly similar to the other Ahsokas, and I mean, it was always going to be, um, unless they kind of changed it up a little bit. But it's like one of the starting ones. Ahsoka was a cool show, um, and obviously season two is coming, so I imagine we'll be getting tons more pops and tons of different releases like we do with the Mandalorian, but I'm still happy with this one. I think it is pretty cool. So we're gonna do this in numerical order, guys, which means Marok is up next. The Sith Inquisitor turned mercenary. A very, very cool looking pop. I remember when the trailer first came out, everyone was like, oh my God, who is this? This is gonna turn out to be someone awesome. I think a lot of the theories were it's gonna be Starkiller, because I think Sam Witwer's name was in like the credits or attached to the project somehow, something like that. And um, I, I do always remember seeing one guy saying that um, there's all this fanfare about this character. I bet you he's gonna get like slept in the first episode so by Ahsoka um, and it kind of almost maybe not quite the first episode but pretty much they're like first kind of major battle she pretty much done him apologies if I spoil that for you but I don't think you'd really be watching this video looking at Ahsoka Pops if you hadn't watched Ahsoka already right but he's got the lightsaber here uh, like the Inquisitor lightsabers which spin that's really cool obviously the mask the helmet like was he what was the whole thing was he like dead already and had um that Morgan was it Morgan Elsbeth something how, however you pronounce her name um had she brought him back or some some weird thing like that I felt it was I could be wrong um and just like misremembering even though I did only watch the show not so long ago the kind of cape draped over the shoulder yeah it's a pretty cool one I do like it Next we have Professor Hu Yang, who was the architect droid responsible for teaching Jedis, and I think Masters as well. I'm pretty sure it mentioned he taught like Yoda, and Mace Windu, and some others how to construct their lightsabers. I think he did the same, obviously, with Ahsoka, with Ezra, and he kind of helped Sabine as well, essentially, in the show, right? Brilliantly voiced and played. Well, when I say voiced and played... I don't know if he did the motion capture, but definitely voiced by David Tennant. Um, love the character, his like kind of sarcasm and quips and whatnot. Uh, very funny. Certainly like a lot more funnier and a lot less annoying than C-3PO. Um, and David Tennant does do quite a few cons here in the UK, so I'm sure he'll pop up in a couple next year because I would definitely love to get this sign. The pop itself is a little bit basic, to be honest. Like They could have given him a bit more of a dynamic pose or even like a proper an object of some kind but uh he's just pretty much standing there but it still looks cool i love the eyes the color scheme i think it does look pretty cool and like i said would definitely love to get it signed by david tennant then we have General Harrison Dula, and this pop does look really, really cool. I remember watching the trailer at Star Wars Celebration when it was first revealed, and was like, ah, oh, it's so cool. And I remember Hera got a pretty big cheer when she first appeared from the crowds. Although I do remember a lot of people saying that um, Mary Elizabeth, is 
it Winsteed? Is that how you pronounce her name? I'm not entirely sure. Obviously, the wife of Ewan McGregor. A lot of people were saying she just got the role because she's married to him and she didn't earn it, yada, yada, yada. And it's like pretty stupid. She's done quite a few things. Is she the greatest actress in the world? No. But you know what? She's had quite a few projects um, and she's been in some decent roles and decent movies before. And I have to say, you know, I thought she like played Hera really really well I thought she did do a good job and speaking of a good job I think Funko have done just that with this pop obviously we've had Hera before in uh in the Rebels range I would definitely love to go and get the Rebels range I absolutely loved uh the Rebels animated show do I have any I don't think I do I think Hera's the cheapest one to get out of them all but some of them especially like Ezra and Kanan they're quite expensive now um well Thrawn obviously the most expensive one you know what I'm just thinking where is my th Thrawn figure. Was he not supposed to come in this bundle? I may actually need to check that out. Or is he an exclusive coming later? Maybe he is. I, I could be getting ahead of myself there. But yeah, this Hera figure, really, really cool with the... Oh, I never know what the... the, the like tentacle things are called. I always have to ask my brother what they are and he like reminds me straight away. But we've got the markings on there. They look good with like the helmet, I guess. I am pretty sure it's a helmet, some kind of helmet or headpiece that say with the goggles, uh, the kind of orange uh, sort of um, pants, the that kind of jumpsuit, the pilot suit rather. Uh, yeah, it all looks pretty cool. We've got a pistol as well. A lot of detail in this one. I do like it a lot. And then completing the commons, guys, is Chopper. As I said before, I absolutely love Chopper. I feel we didn't get to see as much of him as I would have liked in Ahsoka, but I have to remember the show is supposed to be Ahsoka. It's not really Rebels 2.0, even though a lot of people accused it of being Rebels 2.0. As I said, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And the Chopper figure does look cool, but I definitely prefer the Rebels versions where he's got some of his gadgets, you know, like his hands coming out, waving all about. Um, and he certainly did that in the show. I just don't think he was as funny or as kind of reckless like who knows maybe he matured a bit uh over time right but um i definitely loved him in rebels and like i said i would definitely love to get those rebels pops but the ahsoka one is still pretty cool the color scheme is right it, it just does look more like a mature pop right from from the show as opposed to like a an animated like a cartoon version which that rebels one does look like so i think Funger have at least done a decent job in kind of changing things up and um yeah it's another one i like and happy to kind of get this and continue on with the Ahsoka collection. Oh, and by the way, if you guys didn't know, we have started our own dedicated Star Wars channel because my brother has an absolutely huge Star Wars collection. I mean, mine's pretty big, but his is absolutely huge, full of like Lego, statues, figures, lightsabers, props, master replica stuff, tons and tons of stuff. Like I said, a really big collection. Yeah, definitely much bigger than mine. That's not what she said, by the way. Well, we therefore decided to start our own dedicated Star Wars channel as a result. Where we'll have all of our Star Wars content on there. Of course, I showed some stuff off here today and that will continue here on the geek lounge but if you guys are a fan of star wars make sure you go and subscribe to that channel it is called the mudhorn cantina and i will put a link to it in the description below and i mentioned it earlier guys the other bundle i picked up in this order was avatar the last airbender so first up here we have floating ang Azula doing some lightning bending, Uncle Iroh also doing some lightning bending, and the Samurai Momo you guys will see conspicuous by his absence is the Samurai Appa, that's because it is a six inch and it wasn't included as part of this bundle. I really need to pick that one up because I think these two are absolutely awesome. We're going to have to wait a few minutes to get to that Momo figure, guys, because we are doing this in numerical order, which means we start with floating Ang. Now, did we need another Ang figure? I mean, he is a really popular character, right? But they've made so many Angs, and I feel there are better variants of this, although it's still fairly cool. Obviously, he's on one of these clear acrylic bases because he is floating, right? That's what the Bob's called, floating Ang, And he's obviously doing some uh, airbending there as well as we're going around the back. Yeah, I like the fact that the uh, the tattoo goes all the way around. That would be pretty shoddy if Fungo didn't do that, but it's like the same with all the other Aangs. Uh, the cape's kind of up a bit, which gives it a bit of a dynamic pose, I suppose, which is pretty cool. They're definitely getting better and better at that. And uh, yeah, all the detail at the front, the, the like leg crossing and the pose in general is pretty cool. It's just like, did we really need this one? And I think they have made a glow in the dark variant as well. And you're kind of like, wow, did you really need two variants of this figure considering how many others we have? But you know what? Otherwise, it's still fairly decent. 
Whereas Azula looks absolutely sick. Yes, we do already have an Azula figure, which came with a chase variant, but this is an improvement like on the mold. The hair is different. The outfit looks sick. Just look at that lightning bending as well. That may have had a specific name for this move. I haven't watched Avatar The Last Airbender for quite a while, so I can't entirely remember off the top of my head. I mean, we're kind of getting around the back here and because she's got like such uh, a big mass of hair, you don't really see too much, but the outfit, like the toes, uh, like the bottom of the dress armor whatever it's called still looks pretty good with the red etchings but yeah all that detail in the front she still looks angry she still looks badass the lightning looks great you know what this one this should have been glow in the dark man it would have looked so freaking cool or at least had like a glow chase variant did it have a glow chase variant and i'm kind of forgetting maybe it did i know the first release did uh which were was that was that like a big apples collectible exclusive in the us i think it was um i know i do have it in my collection sadly not the chase but uh yeah, I still have to say this one looks absolutely freaking sweet. I do like it a lot. And likewise, guys, the new Uncle Iroh pop is also amazing. I always have to call him Uncle Iroh, by the way. I don't know why he just feels like he should be everybody's uncle. But he also is doing some lightning bending. Obviously, the OG pop of him, he just has like some tea in his hand, which is still pretty cool because it fits the character. But here we now have him in battle and he does look badass. This base looks really cool. Again, if this was like glow in the dark, I'm sure it would look absolutely amazing. But I still think it looks cool nonetheless um, as we're kind of going round. Uh, don't see too much at the back but the lightning design kind of going up the lightning bending very very cool he's got his gray hair which is kind of unkept if that's kind of the right way to say it to an extent um, like, like it just looks a bit different compared to the other pop um, even his belly layer as we're coming sort of back to the front is uh, is kind of popping out a bit more I didn't really notice that uh, certainly on the older figure but yeah the fire nation suit there the armor still I uh, just looks really really good the kind of old man lines in the head under the eyes still looks pretty badass i know he was um yeah really happy with this one as well definitely want to see some more avatar the last airbender figures made with these kind of powers and dynamic poses here he is then guys feast your eyes on samurai momo this is so cool the figure looks so freaking sweet i remember when i started collecting the avatar the last airbender fungo box maybe like two or three years ago i was like man if they ever make these samurai momo and appa i will be well onto that and then u2s actually did it first and um i i definitely love u2s don't get me wrong they're just a bit pricier but to be fair they are a like a slightly higher quality uh, than Fungo Pops. But I decided not to pull the trigger and I was just rewarded because Fungo finally did release these and they look so cool. I say they look cool. I obviously don't have Appa in hand yet. Definitely want to get it. I think he is on Fungo Europe now um, and probably in shops and whatnot, even though I didn't see it. Uh, I went to a store the other day um, and didn't actually see it. So um, yeah, I'll get to it eventually. But yeah, Momo is so cool here in the kimono with his samurai saw, the yellow eyes, even the hair tied up. <laughs> just looks so cool. So funny if memory serves me right it was a uh, like one of ang's dreams right he was seeing them battling and were they talking as well i think they were but uh oh, it's so cool so funny uh yeah absolutely love it like i said i really want them to continue making more avatar the last airbender fungo pops final pop of the day then guys or i should say final pops of the day because this is a three pack i picked up the D, &D three pack of vecna the mind flayer and the demogorgon now, if you guys have been watching for a while, you'll know that this year I really started to fall in love with Critical Role. I was already a big fan of a lot of the guys on there. Matt Mercer, Liam O'Brien, Travis Willingham, Laura Bailey. You know, these guys who have been doing voices in anime and video games, other animated shows for a long time. Been big fans of those. And then I really started to get into the Critical Role game. Started watching the Mighty Nine campaign. I think I'm still, I think I'm around halfway. So we've still got a long way to go. But I am absolutely loving it. And it kind of got me more and more into D, D. I say more and more it's not like I've played a game but I've certainly like looked into it a bit more some of the lore and like I started collecting some of the fungo bops I had some of them originally before I remember the uh, like mimic pop I think was such a freaking cool pop I saw top pop show it off when did it come out was it last year maybe even two years ago and I feel that was the first time I'd ever been influenced to buy something by someone um, on social media because I was like you know what that looks sick I have to go and grab it and then I just started grabbing more of the D&D &D ones because I think they really look cool and then saw this free pack was coming out because I'd never picked up the Vecna before I do believe they released him singularly 
did they release him singularly? Can't remember. He was definitely in that two pack with the Stranger Things Vecna that was a New York Comic Con exclusive, I believe, last year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, I saw this free pack, which includes the Mind Flayer and the Demogorgon, and was like, you know what? I am going to grab this. If we take a closer look at Vecna first, I mean, he does look pretty cool. I can't really speak for like authenticity as i said i'm not like the biggest dnd guy so i don't really know the law i would love to play a game one day but it's just like committing that time finding the right people to play with where you're going to enjoy it have that camaraderie and whatnot rather than it kind of being too like of a bossy type of game if you know what i mean but uh he looks pretty good here man the the armor here on the back all of the kind of gold the robes um i mean the body that kind of looks a bit sort of is it armor is it his bones like what exactly is is Vecna anyway in terms of DD? &D. If someone knows more, drop some comments below. I would certainly like to learn. I mean, I know I can just look it up. I'm being a bit lazy. But uh, yeah, Vecna still does look pretty cool. Next up, we have the Mind Flare. And I have to confess, the first time I heard of any of these three characters was from Stranger Things. I know they've been in DD lore forever. But yeah, first place I heard them was, and I imagine a lot of people, to be fair as well, was from Stranger Things. I imagine that's why they've done this free pack as well, because it's essentially like the free villains, the free like antagonists that we've seen over the last four seasons and probably into that fifth season as well when is that coming out by the way is it next year or is it i think it's 2025 actually isn't it so we've still got some way to go but uh yeah this looks really really cool i think i did see some footage like i haven't played Baldur's gate 3 yet um, I think I did see like a cut scene where someone got changed into a mind flayer or something like that and it looked exactly identical to this um, and I think it's a pretty cool pop again on one of these clear acrylic bases but I guess he's like floating right doing some of his mind flaying I guess his powers uh, was that is that like his thing where he takes over people's minds I assume so right that kind of makes sense why we call the mind flare is essentially flaying minds but uh yeah it does look pretty cool i like it a lot even the armor there it's like some kind of skull or something on his belt looks pretty cool yeah i do like it a lot and then the last one we have of this three pack guys and the last figure for the video is the demogorgon very very different to the one that we of course saw in stranger things it actually has two heads i'm assuming that's like proper in terms of DD lore everything seems pretty above board fungo generally because they have to get all their concepts approved anyway i doubt like the people who are giving them the license would ever approve something that not necessarily that it looks bad but if it looks nothing like what their like show or what their character looks like if you know what i mean um so i'm pretty sure this is what the demogorgon looks like in the world of DD. &D. we're kind of going around i mean he's got like tentacles for arms he's got this kind of like spiked or barbed tail here even there is that like a feathered head like this one looks like so different i, I mean the mind flayer did as well to, to stranger things because he's kind of this massive beast in stranger things right vecna maybe doesn't have the armor and, and whatnot but still had similarities in the build this just looks so different even like the the face and whatnot it's like a cross between some kind of bird and a monkey and some other things the clawed feet still looks really cool I, I'd, I'd love them to make like a two-headed demogorgon in stranger things but yeah i like this one a lot the dnd pops i think look really great i always say it the anime pops i think fungo do an amazing job with but i have to say i think they also do a really really good job with the dnd ones as well and well there we go guys that's me now caught up with my fungo pop parcels until next time and that is therefore going to do it for today's video so first of all thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me here on the geek lounge it is very much appreciated i hope you guys did enjoy the video if so be sure to give us a thumbs up and drop some comments below let me know what fungo pops you guys have picked up recently and as always we've got plenty more content on the way for you guys the usual fungo lego statues figures and tcgs all incoming yes we only have a week to go till christmas but we do have some content dropping next week for you i bought a spider-man bundle from a new company so it'll kind of be like reviewing them and showing off some pretty cool spider-man fungo pops i do believe my wrestle crate uk order is coming in next week as well so we'll check that out and maybe another one or two videos just before christmas and then plenty afterwards as well and going into the new year so make sure you guys stay tuned for all of that and more what is the easiest way to stay tuned you ask it's very simple subscribe hit click smash that subscribe button and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on any of that future content guys thanks again for watching today's video and we'll see you on the next one peace out nerds